What's up, y'all? I hope y'all having a good day. Me, I'm stuck at the Costco gas line station. I've been here for about 20 minutes and I am, let me see if I can show you where exactly I'm at. The gas pumps are like right there, right? And here's the line, let's see if I can show you exactly. Line is there, it's curving all the way to the back there. And I've been here just waiting. Chilling, waiting, listening to Power Tools. Not on Power 106, because I don't think they have that anymore, but I'm listening to it on YouTube. Taking it back to the 95s. Oh my goodness. This, uh, I want to say I've been seeing articles, reading articles about um, the gas prices. Hitting $7. Blech. In case you don't know, I live in the sunny area of Southern California. Compass is a big area, but man these gas prices are insane are insane here i, I want to say it said regular was 489 and uh the what was it the special whatever the heck it, it is oof what you trying to do truck oof oof did it hit that car holy moly what did he do what did he do it's a big old truck he's trying to let me see if i can show you trying to oh I thought he hit a car anywho yeah uh, he's trying to get through it and it looked like he hit something it was rough anywho um yeah so the 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 regular is 489 and the high is 518 that's that's crazy that's crazy it's taking me back to when I was working around I want to say it was 2004 or 2005 when gas Believe it or not, it was about one, wait, was it that late? I think it was maybe about 175, I want to say. Yeah, maybe 175, 150. And then all of a sudden that recession hit, uh, the inflation hit, and then the gas skyrocketed to $3 just overnight. It didn't even hit anything with two. It skipped the twos. It skipped the terrible twos and went to the terrific threes. It was just like, oh man. And literally the job that I had at that time, um, I was only working to pay for the gas. I kid you not. That's how bad that inflation hit. That's how bad that gas prices hit. Uh, it was bad. I was I I couldn't even live paycheck to paycheck at that time because I was literally just getting my check to pump gas in my car to go to work. I barely had enough to make sure that my boys had something to eat at the house, but I didn't have anything to eat at work most of the time. And I'm glad I'm not even diabetic because dang, all my lunches consisted of a Coke that I could get at the vending machine for like 50 or 75 cents and uh, a, a twin pack of a Snickers. <sighs> that was a sugar rush, y'all. Man, now I'm just thinking about this again. It is nuts here. It is bananas. I cannot believe how crazy the gas is. It, uh, it reminded me of when the pandemic hit. I remember I came here, I came to this Costco uh, the Monday or Tuesday that they, no, wait, wait, was it? I don't know, but it was it was probably the week the week before it was considered a global pandemic. I think they shut everything down here in, in LA County around March 19 or March 20 of 2020. And I came that the weekend a few days before that. Man, this place was bananas. People running away with toilet paper, with waters, trying to get gas. It was it was nuts. It was nuts. And it wasn't this bad though, the gas line. I had to literally wait out in the street, uh, trying to get in, trying to make a right to get in for about maybe 10 minutes or so. And it was just what, like five, four or five cars in front to try to get into the driveway. And this truck didn't make it any better. He was blocking people from going out and blocking from people from going in. And now we're here just waiting, dang. not looking forward to these gas prices again i hope it doesn't get to that point where you can't even make it paycheck to paycheck man this is nuts this is freaking bananas this 
freaking inflation. Ooh, they're getting crazy out here. Ooh, they honking. Move, bro. She honking at you so you can move. Stop going to sleep. <laughs> ah, and I'm only smiling because I don't want to stress myself out more than what it already is. This is freaking nuts. Well, at least I picked a good line. I usually pick the outside line because I like the out outer lanes of the gas, but I said, you know what? Let me just get the let me get the inner the inner lanes this time around. Because that one's that one's cray cray. Okay, now I'm in. I want to say about six cars. And today is what, March? Let me see. Let me see if I could check it on my phone without killing my recording. It's March the 8th. Tuesday, March the 8th. It's getting hot in here now. Dang. Dang. I gotta get a, a swig of water. Oh man, we got crows flying above the gas station. What an ominous, <laughs> ominous sign. Oh no, it's ominous. That means, and you know what? I'm gonna tell you something though, totally unrelated to this. I don't like to record videos like this in the in the in the vertical thing. I just don't. But because my phone was playing YouTube just before I started to hit record, I just left it like that. But I really don't like this horizontal thing. I've always hated it. Always. I remember when I would see people record, and I still do hate it. I detest it. I don't know why. I guess it's just because TVs are not like this. TVs are, are horizontal, you know, on the horizon. They're not vertical. So every time I see this and, you know, it just, it, it irks me. It, it irks me. I think it irks me more than these gas prices going up. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try not to record like this. I, I totally detest it. I really do. And if I flip it over right now, then you're gonna have to turn your neck and you're gonna have to be watching me like this. I'ma just leave it like this for now. I'ma just leave it like this for now, but I'm just letting you know I hate recording like this. And I hate when people record that because they miss whatever's happening on the side. All you do is just you get this little portion of the person here and you got all this space up here and all this space down here of nothing, of grass or of sky. When your subject is right in the center, that's why you flip it so you can get a better because TVs are horizontal. They're not vertical. Horizontal, okay? Horizontal. Damn it, it's hot in here again. Let me put this down. Ah, <laughs> uh, geez, Louise, man, geez, Louise, geez, Louise. <sighs> I see a lot of trucks, though. A lot of big trucks. I can't even imagine how much their SUVs and those pickup trucks. That's probably over a hundred bucks of gas, I think. Well, I'm here with, uh, I'm, I'm at 25%, so maybe mine's will be like 70 bucks, 60 bucks, 70 bucks. I drive a smaller car. I don't I don't drive big old suckers like that. Uh, not because I'm like, you know, a tree hugger or anything like that. I just don't like to waste gas. I've always liked smaller cars. I mean, it's not small. It's like a family sized car, but uh, I, I've never liked bigger vehicles. Uh, but. I want to estimate that mine is going to be about, yeah, 60 or 70 bucks. If I remember correctly, last time I think it was 66 when I did the same thing last week. I just pumped last week in this car. The same thing. It was uh, it was down uh, 75, right? 75? No, it was down to 25% around there. So, yeah, man, I've got my hand sanitizer here. In case you don't know i'm not i'm not being sponsored by him i just like this one this one smells really good it's a everyman jack sea salt oof 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 and i still like to go all prepared because in my my eyes the pandemic is not over i mean i have family members that are still suffering from covid so you know i i am still taking it seriously and i'm gonna get ready i'm gonna get ready I'm gonna put my gator neck on. I like this gator neck because I don't have to put a mask on because it has like an extra layer here. So yeah, I'm about to get ready because it could be my turn next and I don't wanna hold up the line any more than what it already is. I'm cool like that. I like to get ready beforehand. So like I said, when I... And you know what? 
I mean, I was I was like a 5% germaphobe before the pandemic happened. But ever since then, after the pandemic and I would pump gas, I wear gloves, man. You know how many people touch those handles? A lot. You know how many people don't wash their hands? More than that. A lot. So, I'm going to just get ready. Because it looks like they, that, that it's moving fast now. Everybody's on, on serious mode trying to get the gas on. I got my wallet here. Let me get my wallet ready, too. Get my seatbelt off. What am I doing with my seatbelt? Get my seatbelt off. This. I'm gonna keep it recording so I can tell you how much, how much gas I pumped in this sucker. So I got my Costco card ready. I got everything. I'm ready to just jump out of here. I'm ready to just yeet myself out of here. But yeah, you know what? After the pandemic and all these germ stuff, and you know, watching all these videos of how COVID spread and stuff like that, you know, with the happy birthday singing and the sneezing and the particles, I was like, eh. That was disgusting. So now every time I pump gas, I, I wear my gloves. I always have an extra pair here. I always have to wear gloves because a lot of people don't wash their hands. That's nasty. I used to uh, work at a fast food place, one of my very first jobs. And uh, I remember after I was doing some uh, shift manager training and they did a, a food safety class for us. They, they took us to the corporate. Uh, the corporate offices and they did some food safety classes and the first thing they made us do was uh they they gave us some powder right they gave us some powder to put on our hands and uh just said rub it all over your hands it was almost very uh invisible per se i mean it was kind of very transparent hey i have no idea what the hell that powder was it's probably a chemical or something. but uh then they they just uh we just you know kind of like like you know uh back in the days well younger viewers won't know but back in the days when you were in school you know those uh the chalkboard erasers they were like uh they were like maybe about this size they would need to just whack them to clean them outside and then you get all that chalk all over you yeah anywho it was kind of like that so we did that we just whiffed it and you know then then the presenter started talking a bit more and then uh they're like all right uh go wash your hands so all of us it was probably a class of like 40 40 people in training there and uh you know i went to go wash my hands like everybody else did everybody used the restroom and stuff like that and uh washed our hands uh, and we got back in class and so when we got back to the class the presenter closed all the windows like the blinds and the shutters and stuff turned off all the lights and it was pitch black and she turned on a blue light holy moly you would see so much of that powder on people's faces on their hair on their shoulders because i guess they were doing this trying to get all that dandruff off on their shirt because what they ended up doing was they washed their hands and they would dry it on their clothes you could see it on their pants uh everywhere it was disgusting it was like oh that's sick that's sick because people don't know how to wash their hands and this is in the food industry the freaking food industry so at that moment i took my job even more serious because if you don't wash your hands good all that stuff stays on where you touch the food so yeah man a lot of people don't either a they don't wash their hands good or they just don't wash them at all and so then all these handles they get touched by so many people here man so many germs even if you got sanitizer that's disgusting all right hey i'm next i'm next i'm happy i feel like i'm going on a roller coaster <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> you know what? i haven't been on a roller coaster in years i want to say maybe 10 years i have bad back and I think one of the last few rides I ever got on was in Magic Mountain. And it was either probably Batman or the Riddler ride. The first one I got on that day was the Goliath. Woo! Woo! Wee! That drop, man. That tests your humanity right then. <laughs> the rest of the ride was fun. It was cool. But that drop, it's such an insane drop. I'm sure there's other roller coasters that are much uh crazier than that one but, but the, all right i think i'm up next let's stop talking about roller coasters i think i'm up next all right well i don't feel like a dingus i'm not the only one wearing a mask out here there's like maybe two more people out of a hundred all right hold on like i said i'm gonna keep it recording so i can give you all an update of how much okay it's the second car leaving all right i'm gonna move up come on little civic Back up, back up, yep, yep, you got it clear. You got it clear, yep. Put your signal on, let everybody know where you're going. Uh-huh, all right, I'm gonna move up. I'm gonna get to the next pump. All right, I'm gonna leave y'all recording. Don't go anywhere. Damn, 47 on that little Honda Civic. Woo! All right, here I go. Pray for me, y'all, pray for me. Let's see. 
All right. Peace. Holy moly, tensions were high out there, woo! Damn, I think it was 66 bucks, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. <laughs> woo! Just put the seatbelt on before I freaking go kill myself. Dang, that was nuts. Oh, I gotta fix my, my beard. Let's get the heck on out of here. Wow, this was insane here. Did you hear that honk? Dude was about to fight that big old trucker one that I was telling y'all about. Oh man. Dang, that was nuts. It was about to fight. It was about to fight. What's up, cop? Was there a cop here? Oh, there's a oh, it's parking enforcement. I thought it was gonna get crazy here. Oh man. Tensions were getting high at that gas station. You you heard that honk, right? Okay, so remember how I told you about that uh that big old trucker dude. All right, so it looks like uh, something must have happened off camera that I didn't get or that I didn't see out of here. And there was a pickup truck in front of it. And uh, as as soon as that big trucker dude was, was leaving, the dude literally got in front of him. Like as, as he was pulling out, and he just stared, stared down at him. Like if, you know, he had superpowers and he can withstand, you know, the 50 million ton truck that was coming at him. And he just stood at it. He just just stared at him. Just stared him down. Only, like, oh snap! What the hell's going on here? And all of a sudden, the the man that was standing in front of the big truck, he got into his pickup truck. Man, that gator day messed him up weird. <laughs> and uh, anyway, he got in his truck, and he still was just staring the guy down. And uh, I could just hear like, uh, you know, like, hey man, my epic big dad man, but dad it was just going crazy, and I was like. Pump my gas here. You know what? That's the fastest I've ever pumped my gas before. <laughs> I, I I hate confrontations like that, man. It's insane. And the dude in the truck was just like, "Come on, bro, just move." People are trying to get their gas, and the dude was just holding up the line right there all the time, man. And that's why somebody honked because they were telling them to hurry up. 
And that dude in the pickup truck was just like, man, pick that dead big man, man. If you had a sensor beep button, it would go boop, 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 like that. And then the guy left, and then the big truck just went after him. And yeah, man, right when that happened, I done clicked my stuff, and I'm done. I'm out. I gotta show you my receipt, though. I think it was $66, 12 gallons. I poured $4.89 a gallon gas. Hold on, let me get to the next stop sign because I'm driving. Hey, what you think this is, man? I got the green light. You're a human. Humans don't win against cars, man. What's your problem? You think I'm gonna wait for you? I got the right of way. Me? <laughs> oh, I think that's the truck right in front of me. Is it? Oh, it looks like it. Is it probably chasing down the other dude? No, no, hold on. All right, I'm gonna, head, I'm gonna get a red light here. Red light. Yep, uh, $63.53. I pumped almost 13 gallons. So, yep. Uh, that, that's them gas prices for you, man. That's them gas prices for you. I can't believe this. I really can't believe this. Here's another gas station, USA Gasoline. $5.39 for regular and premium $5.69. There's the shell. What, 561 for regular and 599 for the premium. Holy moly, that's almost six dollars. God sooks. I don't think I passed another another gas station around here. Do I? Dip, dip, dip. Nope, I don't. Wow. The wonder tensions are high, man. Damn, I was about to see a scuffle there too at a gas station. Go! You're already in my way. Why are you holding up traffic? Just go. You see what I mean? Tensions are high. They put their light. I let them go. They're halfway there and they don't take it. They don't take it. Why do you do that? If I'm giving you the right of way, just get in. If you're already halfway in, why do you stop? Why do you stop? Huh? Huh? Tensions are high. <laughs> this is how I keep myself sane. I come up with scenarios in my mind and, you know, how it is that's how it is here in sunny southern california you know it's been crazy on the weather too it's been like cold which is better than being hot but it's 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 we're heading into mid-march and it's never been this cold it's never been this chilly at this time never never ever 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 wow still gonna pump gas in my second car Ugh. probably do that thursday Well, be safe out there. Drink your water. Don't waste gas because it's pricey. If you don't need to go out, don't go out. If you can walk, walk. If you need to go walking and it's a dangerous city, protect yourself. Uh, don't give people the benefit of the doubt because they will take advantage of that. Say no to violence. Protect yourself. Protect yourself because it probably is going to get hairier, man. Food is getting to be expensive. Gas is expensive. Gas. Gas is expensive, rent's expensive, insurance is expensive, everything is expensive. I think it's about time we, we go back and uh, live in our caves. We just have to fend for ourselves and get back to the hunter-gatherer situation. <laughs> so we don't have to worry about paying anything. <laughs> oh man, all right, well, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, say no to drugs, uh, only you can prevent forest fires and uh, always do good, always do good. Do your best to do good, even to those who don't deserve it, you know? If they don't deserve it, well, walk away. All right, I'm out, boop.